Have you been thinking about having your own solar electric system but are not quite sure of how worthwhile it would be? If so, keep watching and gain all of the information you need for your very own solar electric system. The first and most important solar system to Barbadians is the solar water heater that we have been world leaders for over 30 years. Most Barbadians know about them and how they work. So I will talk to you about the other part of our solar revolution, our solar electric systems. The first part of our solar electric systems is actually the solar panel, which is used for collecting sunshine. In this case, this sunshine is converted into electricity. The second part of the solar system are the wires that bring that solar electricity from your roof down into your building, be it your home or your business. These systems actually are wires, and if there are many wires, then we have something called a combiner box that combines all the wires into a few wires. If you have a battery system, then you obviously have batteries, which will store the energy during the day, and also at night, so you can use it both during the day and night. But what is most important to the solar system, other than the solar panels, is the component that converts the solar energy, the solar electricity, from the DC, that is produced by the solar panels, the alternating current that we need to use in our house. That device is commonly called your inverter. So we have your solar panels, your combiner box, your batteries if you're going to be using batteries, and also you have your inverter that converts your DC electricity to the alternating current that we use in our houses. That is a grid independent system. Complete with batteries and a wind turbine, Richard Allen's entire system cost $50,000. Well, I start from small to begin with. I start from like one panel, you know, and you would try that one panel along with the inverter, charge controller, you know, and your batteries. And as, and as you use more utilities and more uh, appliances, you add on panels to suit all the way. So, yeah, so right now you're up to like 6,000 watts. Yeah. Because of, because of my usage, the things I just use. At the other extreme, we actually have a system where you produce your solar energy, you convert it into alternating current, and you feed it directly into the local grid. Now, you either feed it directly into the local grid, or you take the energy from the local grid into your house. That is a totally grid interactive system, and you don't need batteries. But what happens when it rains instantaneously, when your solar energy that's coming from your solar panels reduce, the electricity company will provide this energy for you. That is great. All the systems are great. The third system obviously is a hybrid, somewhere between the grid independent system where you have a battery and you're not connected to the grid at all, to a system that is totally connected to the grid. The hybrid system is the one that has both the batteries and the inverter, but the inverter also provides electricity not just for your house, but it also exchanges it with the local grid. The value of your home will escalate with the installation of a solar electric system in the same way that it would with any real estate investment, such as a swimming pool or a jacuzzi. And the reason why it increases is because the person who buys your house gets to enjoy a quality of life without a high energy cost. So that's very important. Of course, every year we have a special season that we are always be weary. Every year we have a special season where we are concerned about the weather. That's the hurricane season. And for those of you who experienced the last hurricane that passed almost on Barbados, they will note that there were some persons in the neighborhood for two and three days while you had no electricity who did. And those persons were people who had solar systems with batteries. And they were happily calling each other and saying, wow, I don't know about this blackout stuff because I am not experiencing it. So for emergencies, having a solar system with batteries is excellent. Of course, the Barbados government is happy that you put your solar system in place. The Barbados government is happy that you put your renewable energy system in place because when you're using your natural energy resources, it means that we don't have to import fossil fuel. And in importing fossil fuel, we're using a very precious foreign exchange that can be better used for you to buy other equally important commodities in your stores. So reducing the high fuel import bill 
is very, very important to the Barbados government. And that is one of several reasons why we have such an extensive amount of fiscal incentives for businesses and householders. Now, the question that everyone wants the answer to is how much will my solar electric system cost? So a simple answer, there is no fixed upfront cost for a solar system for any particular family or house. It varies according to the energy that you use. The average consumer, by the way, uses about 300 kilowatt hours per month. So for the average consumer, the upfront cost for such a system may be as little as $20,000. By doing his own research on how to set up and source materials for a grid-independent solar system, Richard installed his solar system himself in about 12 months through a process of trial and error. Yeah, using the wind turbine, it's, 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 it's easier to, to produce current 24 hours. If I guess you use the solar, you can only get 12 hours of energy. Yeah, so that I, pre I prefer to use all two, which is, we, we call dual, a dual system. Many people ask, how much do I save? Is it really a financial benefit? And the simple answer is, yes, it is. It is because currently, the average consumer may be paying around 70 cents Barbados per kilowatt hour. 70 cents is a typical price because it goes up and down every month based on uh, the price of fossil fuel. But the big surprise is, that when you invest in your solar system and you do your calculations based on your savings over the lifetime of your solar system, which can be as long as 20 years, you are actually able to produce your solar electricity closer to 44 cents. Yeah, I used to spend like four, like 450, like four, like 400 a month. Yeah, and like, yeah. So and now I only spend like, um, no, I don't spend nothing now, but um, at the end of the year, that four was 40, 4,800 dollars a year. So now I'm saving yearly now. There is financing available for the average person as well as for businesses who are interested in outfitting their homes and offices with solar systems. People say they don't have that upfront money to pay for the system even although it's cost effective. Fortunately, you've heard about the opportunities for businesses through the Enterprise Growth Fund. But in addition to that, other finance companies in Barbados, banks, etc are beginning to offer energy related loans for your solar system where you may not even have to pay any upfront costs but you actually pay for it over a couple of years so there are many financing opportunities available in barbados through the barbados government enterprise growth fund smart fund and through the private banks and financial institutions the enterprise growth fund limited is responsible for managing component one of the energy smart fund which comprises five facilities. It makes up um, four subcomponents, which are grant facilities, and one subcomponent, which is a loan facility. The first of these components is the technical assistance facility, which is Barbados $1 million, and that will be used to provide um, grant funding for businesses to undertake energy audits as well as renewable energy system feasibility studies. Um, this will be facilitated through the use of smartphone partners. A list of those is available on the EGFL's website. Uh, the second component is the loan facility, which would provide subsidized loans to Barbadian businesses for the implementation of viable energy efficient energy conservation and renewable energy systems and projects and in Barbadian businesses. Um, this you're looking at an interest rate of 3.75 percent, very favorable as I said, and up to 10 years repayment loan term. Um, the maximum loan size is 1.5 million dollars. Um, we are hoping that this would encourage businesses to you know get more projects in this area and help to reduce uh, the level of energy uh, use and encourage energy conservation as well. One of the companies which has successfully cut its electric bill in half thanks to its solar system is Bico. We got a loan from what was then the Enterprise Growth Fund and now we're getting our second loan from the Smart Fund which is directly targeted at alternative energy. The way the world economy is at the moment I don't think there are many people are not trying to reduce their operating costs and we are one of them because we we had an electricity bill when we put the first generating set in about more than 12 years ago 
we had an electricity bill of a million dollars a year. Now, when we put the first generator, that reduced the cost to $500,000. And that generating set paid for itself in a very short space of time. going to have a system put on my own home because I don't want to be dependent on, on the tariffs because um, if there's a tragedy and a, something blows up in the Middle East, oil prices could double, we'll all be in real trouble. So I think that people with houses, I would advise them to think about it because I know several people who say they don't have an electricity bill now. They take it in the daytime and they buy it back at night. So I think that if you carry that forward to a business, for stability of costs going forward, I think we all have to seriously look at how we operate. And I think there's a great emphasis by government to persuade people they ought to consider it. And of course, the smart fund is there to facilitate that. Um, you know, we wouldn't be able to do this if we were not going to get a low interest rate from the smart fund to put on the 150 KVA. Richard's experience has been that sustainable living leads to a healthier, happier lifestyle. He lives a totally grid-independent lifestyle and has even created solar electric bicycles. It's the right way to go. You'll feel more healthy too. You know, you'll find that you don't got to be out there chasing down, you know, like most people be working for bills, you know, you understand what I mean? Yeah, so you'll find you don't got to be chasing down money to get you know get your bill get your light bill sorted out so you can relax more you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like you got more time on your hands to work with so now that i do that there now i can find i could i could i can i can move on to other avenues too there are 101 reasons why people buy solar systems the first and most exciting reason is the wonderful experience of knowing that sunshine is actually being converted into electricity and you can use that so it's just an interesting, wonderful technological experience. And that's one of the many reasons. Another reason is that you want to avoid having to pay an electric bill for the rest of your life. So you buy a solar system. It's a high upfront cost compared to your electric bill on a monthly basis. But after a number of years, maybe five to seven years, you have no more bill for the rest of your life. So that's also a really good reason. Of course, there are those who are environmentalists and believe that Barbados and Barbadians have to make their contribution towards reducing the emissions of greenhouse gases, which, by the way, mainly come from electricity produced from fossil fuels. So there are environmentalists who actually buy solar systems because they want to make their contribution towards helping make the Earth a better place for us and for generations to come. You too can reduce your electricity bill and use the money saved as an investment in your solar electric system. Rise to the challenge and seek your opportunity to save and make Barbados a solar electric nation.